So far we only know this, this and this, about U3205. But hey, that's already something. It comes with 4 performance and 4 efficiency cores, giving you 8 threads in total. The clock speeds have also gone up. The L3 cache is 15 MB, compared to just 12 MB on the i3. And the U3 also comes with much better integrated GPU. Let's move on to the tests. In the single core Geekbench 6, the new chip is pretty fast, about the same level as the Ryzen 5 7600. And what's more, it clearly outpaces the previous gen Ryzen 5 and Core i5 models. In multicore, the new U3 noticeably lags behind the current Ryzen 5 and i5 chips, but it's pretty close to the older i5s and even faster than the Ryzen 5 5600X. In the multicore Sinebench R23 test, the situation looks pretty similar. The i3-14100 falls way behind. Meanwhile, the new U3 scores pretty close to the Ryzen 5 7500F. But what about graphics? Well, the integrated GPU here is the same as in the Ultra 5, and it's almost twice as powerful as the one in i3-14100. Unfortunately, we don't have any gaming benchmarks for this CPU just yet. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all the info we have for now, but we've got some other interesting videos for you to check out.